I'd like to talk about the difference between writing in a file and writing in the console, which is where we are right now. So if I type some code into the console, it's going to be outputted immediately, and the result won't be saved anywhere. So this is good if you want to just check something really quickly, um, and you don't actually want to put it into your document. But for the most part, you're going to want to save everything, um, because you can always delete it from your file afterwards, but it's a lot more of a, of a pain in the butt to come back here and copy and paste everything into your document. So um, let's say we have an R Markdown document. You'll see the difference between me typing this here and me typing it here. Down here it happens automatically um, and that's it. It doesn't get saved. Whereas if I put it inside a document and I knit that, then oops, I forgot to put it inside these. Now it should work. So it actually gets saved and outputted. So for the most part, that's what you're going to want to be doing. Um, if you don't want something to actually be in your assignment that you hand in, you can type it in down in the console. But otherwise, you will want to save it. Um, so now I want to talk about the difference between an R markdown file and an R file. So as a beginner, there's pretty much no reason why you'd want to make an R file. Um, but I'll create one just to show you. So in an R Markdown document, um, your code has to be inside these blocks, and you can type outside of those blocks um, to just have things show up as normal words. So as we saw before, um, we can have text and code and its output all in one spot, and we can save it as a PDF or HTML or a Word document so that it looks really nice and it's easy to hand in. Um, whereas if we make an R document, um, I don't, first off, I don't have to do this. It has no idea what I'm even trying to do. And those blocks don't even show up. Um, I can't just start typing random things in here. Nothing will happen if I do that has no idea what I'm trying to do. Um, so if you have an R file, it's just for running code. So then if I run that, it will output down in the console, and it's also saved up here. And then if I wanted to save that, I could then download that onto my computer as before. Um, so one other thing I'd, I'd like to mention, um, when you actually want to run code, you can highlight it and hit Control enter on Windows to make the result show up right inside of your file. Um, so as you'll notice, it showed up here instead of down here when I did that. Another way that you can do that is by pressing the little play button if you are in an R Markdown document. Um, and one other thing I'd like to show is the um, when you make a plot, you're going to have to switch from this tab to this tab to see it. Um, so let's make a really basic plot. So that will show up over here. Um, or if I wanted to put that um, in here and run that, it will show up inside my document. So notice I've already defined x and y down here. Um, I don't have to redefine it up here. It already knows. 
um, but for consistency and so that we can save that you should put it in here if you do plan on using it because next time that you open um, our studio this won't be here anymore and then it's gonna have no idea what you're talking about plot X and Y So if we scroll down, we can see that that plotted.